Good evening. It's already 7 o'clock tonight. I haven't put on any makeup today. I haven't done my hair. I'm heading to yoga. So you're getting a awesome face at the beginning of this vlog. But I wanted to start weekly vlogging and so what better moment than now? Today I actually drove, well, Matt drove me and him back home from my grandma's house. My grandma lives like four hours away. So, um, so we had a four hour drive and I read, I started reading Find You in the Dark today. I got about 25% done. Find You in the Dark by Nathan Ripley actually comes out on June 29th. So it comes out sometime during this week and I got a, um, an e-arc from NetGalley. So thank you, NetGalley. I'm enjoying it so far. It's really weird. It's about this, um, guy who takes cases that like the bodies haven't been found of murdered girls and he goes and finds them and then like kind of anonymously taunts the police with the fact that he's doing their job for them kind of and really creepy um not I don't know it's it's really a confusing character because he's actually a really likable person but also he's doing some weird shit and so I'm not sure how this is gonna go down but it's good so far I also read a little bit of Serafina by Rachel Hartman. I'm listening to that on audiobook and I need to finish it this week because I only have like eight days or seven days left on my borrow. I got it from the library. So I need to read that. I need to finish it. And I'm only about, I'm a little bit over 50% done. The thing about life with audiobooks is that I only really listen to audiobooks when I'm driving because or when I'm doing like cleaning around the house, although even then I don't usually do it because I can't just sit and listen to an audiobook. I need to be doing something else or else my mind will wander and I won't pay attention then I'll miss the whole book. So I need to be doing something that's like a mindless task, like driving. And now that I'm, it's summer, so I'm not taking summer classes, which is, different because it means that I lose out on a 30 minute drive and then a 30 minute back home to class two times a week and I'm currently working only a few days a week at the courthouse I got a new job and it's part-time and so that job is about a 20 minute drive in the morning and a 20 minute back so I am doing that a few days a week but that's all because other than that I work from home um, online and so I don't have to drive anywhere for that so it's taking a long time to get through my audiobooks, which is, I think, something that happened last summer when I was doing this too. But yeah, so I've done some good reading though. I read 25% of Find You in the Dark. I don't know how long that book is because it's an ebook, so I don't know the page number. But right now I'm heading to yoga. Yoga starts in about 20 minutes, and then that lasts an hour. I will probably listen to. Serafina on my way home. Yoga is about, oh, actually I think it's at the other place. Oh, hold on, I need to check. But I was right, I was going to the wrong. I go to yoga at 24 Hour Fitness and there's two in my city. And so sometimes the yoga class is at the one that I don't normally go to. And that is it tonight. So I need to go to the correct yoga, the correct 24 Hour Fitness. It's Tuesday, if I on. It's Ravenclaw. So much blue. Happy Tuesday. It is about three o'clock. I just got off work. Um, I actually had quite a bit of time to read today at work, so that was nice. I love that. It makes my job a little bit more entertaining for me when I get to have some breaks in there and get to read. So I am now about 50% done with Find You in the Dark by Nathan Ripley. I'm also like 68% done with Serafina and when I get done talking to you via the camera, I'm going to listen to more of it. I'm going to go home right now Put a little bit. I have some leftovers chicken and rice from like a teriyaki ramen place I'm gonna eat a little bit of that and then I'm gonna go to yoga at 430 so I have like an hour ish before I need to Leave for yoga and then tonight. I don't have any specific plans. So hopefully I'll get some reading done I'm trying to finish uh, Did I tell you guys about this plan? I need to finish three books plus the two that I'm in the middle of if I want to stay on track
subtract for what I said I would be reading this month for my TBR. And not that I actually need to do that. It's not like anyone's holding me accountable other than myself. But myself, my accountable self is like, you need to do this, Cassie. You need to do this. And I want to read Tome Topple books. I have Persepolis waiting for me um, at the library. And I want to read A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin for Tome Topple, which starts in like four days. So, wow. Why am I doing this to myself? I also still need to read El Defo, which is part of those three books. That's my Sassy Book Club book for June that I haven't read yet. And July, we're going to be reading When Dimple Met Rishi. So if you don't know about the Sassy Book Club, then you should go follow all of the things that are down below. You've got a Twitter and you've got a Goodreads account that you can go follow for stuff. We do once a month book club live shows and um, I always post the polls and everything for that on Twitter so especially the Twitter follow that but the Goodreads page also has like discussion posts boards and also I always put the live show up there so that you can RSVP which will give you a notification a day before just in case you forget if you want that. Don't judge me too harshly but this <laughs> is what I need to do now. I just ordered flame broiler for me and Matt, so that'll be here, and then I'll get to eat. I'm excited for food. Boom. Baby. Close this up. Close this up. Boop. Okay. Just two things left. Okay. Ate some food. Flame broiler was delicious changed into PJs because why would I be uncomfortable in tight workout leggings when I could be in pajamas? But now the goal is to put away all of these clothes, they're clean. All of those clothes, they're clean. And all of those clothes, because they're clean. So now they just need, most of them are folded, but some of them need to be unfolded and put into the closet and some of them need to be folded nicely and put into there. So gonna listen to some more Serafina while doing that. Those are put away. I'm at 80% of Serafina now. So that was a good reading day for that. And I am going to sit down and read some, um, hello. Why did he jump at my little sound? Hello? Oh, sniffs. And now I'm going to sit down and read some... What am I reading right now? Find You in the Dark by Nathan Ripley. So I'm going to go and do that for a little bit. And then it is already, um... I don't actually know what time it is. Oh, uh, it's 7.45. So, yeah, I have a good chunk of time before I need to go to bed. I usually go to bed around 10. Um... Cause I have to get up early in the morning for work because I'm an adult and it's annoying. What are you doing? Oh, just laying on the recently folded clean blanket. He's going to get white hair all over it now. Thanks. Thanks for that. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> He's loafing. We call him Run Wonder Bread when he's loafing because he's white. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> Happy Wednesday! I have something in my eyeball. <laughs> annoying. Okay. Woo! Driving and trying to get something out of my eye at the same time. That's fun. Good morning! Um, so remember when I was all freaked out that I was not going to be able to finish Serafina with the time frame that I had from the library? Yeah. Now I'm at 86% and I'm hoping that I can finish it actually today because I was listening to it this morning when I got ready and I do have my drive this morning, 20 minutes, and then I drive home. I am gonna go to dinner today with Lunner lunch, dinner. It's like at four, 
with my friend Bailey, who just moved back. She was living up in um, Northern California, so she's way closer. And with my sister Lauren. So I do have lunch, lunner, whatever, with them. And so obviously not a lot of reading will get done at that point. But I also will come home and hopefully get some reading done. I also read quite a bit of uh, Find You in the Dark last night. It's getting so good that I was struggling to put it down to go to sleep because I just wanted to just keep swiping. I'm reading it on my ebook, so swipey swipey. Both of these books are good. Serafina is like not really, I think it's not my style of book like it's just it wasn't made for me it's really well done the narration is also amazing I like how she's doing it on audio and like everything is well created like the fantasy world and everything the magic system and it's not a magic system but like the dragon versus human like political range I'm loving the politics of it but I find myself getting lost and I think it might be that I'm not paying enough attention to the audio and then I'm missing a little bit and then I'm like wait what are we doing? I'm so confused. So yeah, it, it's good, but I think I am maybe should have read it instead of listening to it because sometimes on audio, I like zone out for a minute and I'm not paying attention. And then uh, during a hardcore fantasy, that can be a really important moment. So look at sassy, cranky Ron. Oh, I'm my favorite person. What kind of smart Her eyebrows are so good. My favorite person I meant the worst. <laughs> but she's so, so Lauren has never seen the Harry Potter movies ever. This is true. She's my sister. What? So to be fair, I was avoiding it on purpose because you get insane when you discuss the Harry Potter anything. So, we've been watching the movies. Last weekend, we watched, or two weekends ago, we watched one through three. Today, we're going to watch four. It's Wednesday. And then next, this coming Sunday, Sunday we're going to watch five to the end. Hopefully. Hopefully. Assuming everything goes wrong. Goes according to plan. Goes but. wrong? Um, I would like to retract my previous statement that her makeup is fantastic because after actually paying attention, it's terrible and she has weird half glasses and I'm not a fan. So that's more of my stances at this point. I was laughing at that. Boom! Happy Thursday! I'm doing so good at this vlog thing. Oh my god. I say that and then watch me fuck everything up over the weekend. I'm just saying that's what's probably gonna happen. Basically when you see this, it means I'm on my way to my actual office job um, and I have makeup on, which means I'm going there because if I work from home, I do not put normal clothing and makeup on and do my hair. It's just, why would I waste my time? So. Today's goal is finish Serafina. I'm so close. I don't actually know the percentage, but I'm so close. I read none of Find You in the Dark yesterday, which I'm really sad about because that movie, I mean that, that movie, the book is so good. And so I'm hopefully going to be able to read some of that today too. I know that tonight I have plans to go to, um, got invited to go to some trivia night with a friend and as far as I know I'm going with the him. It's still Thursday. I just got off work. It's 1.30. I am driving home and I just finished Serafina. Finally! Um, okay, so as far as the writing of this book goes, it's like a 5 out of 5 stars. It's really well done. They have like some great discussion about race and Rachel Hartman did an amazing job with like the politics of this book and I always love a good political conversation in like fantasy books. I always find that the most entertaining part. However, I found this book for entertainment wise a little bit confusing and I don't know if it was because Actually, I have a feeling that it's because I was listening to it on audiobook and I think that it just, for me, was a little bit too intense on the fictional and it was new to me, so like, I think I just was struggling to pay attention and I don't know if that's because it was like, 
the, like total fantasy where there's you know walking dragons and stuff like that so sometimes those like full fantasies are rough for me now i am going to be starting game of thrones no that's not true i'm going to be starting a Dance with Dragons, which is the fifth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. It's the only one I haven't read yet. <laughs> Wish me luck. It's really big. I'm technically reading it for the Tome Topple, but today is the 28th. So I'm starting it a day early, but I don't even care because I'm not going to be able to read much of it anyway. Friday and I'm working from home today so I am currently just drinking some coffee. Sierra is coming into town tomorrow evening because she gets off work at five and then she'll drive to me. She lives like two to three at uh, three and a half hours away three to three and a half hours away so she'll come she'll spend the weekend with me she's staying until Monday and yeah we're gonna hang out have a good time um, this weekend so I need to get this work done and then hopefully I really want to finish find you in the dark today I think I'm at like 75% let me check for you I did also start reading start listening to um, a dance with dragons but I'm only like 1% in that audiobook is 48 hours long 48 I have never read anything on audio that was more than like I think 20 20 sounds like a long I'm 77% done with Find You in the Dark. So I'm really wanting to finish this today if I have time, if this work doesn't take me too, too long. My cats are going insane. Well, now they're like exhausted. Here's one roadkill. He's just chilling now. But they've been fighting for the last, my apartment's a mess, wow. But they've been fighting for the last like half hour, just play fighting. So now they're tired. Now they're just chilling. Yeah, I need to clean the apartment too, so maybe I'll listen to Game of Thrones when I do that at some point. But I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow, but I need to clean. Beautiful, interesting, unique prose I have ever read in my entire life. Happy Saturday! Uh, so yesterday I read nothing. Um, I worked all day long, and then me and Matt went out to dinner, and then we watched um, a movie called Sicario together which was made in 2015 and like a, a kind of sequel just came out and it was dark, um, very just hopeless is really what it was about. It's like this Mexican cartel movie with the police but like all of the police that are following them are kind of not good and they're not following like the rules and protocols and stuff and Emily Blunt is like the only saving grace but then yeah, it's just, it's a hopeless movie. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did yesterday. Today, it's already 2.30, but I'm going to go to my friend Bailey's house, and she lives about 25, 30 minutes away, so I'm gonna be listening to A Dance with Dragons on my way there, and usually when I leave to come back home, it's a little bit longer, so I'll get a little bit of a chunk done of Game of Thrones. In comparison to the whole book, it's like nothing, but I am listening to it on like 1.7 or 1.8 speed, I'm not sure which. So I'm getting some good reading done today. And then uh, tonight, Sierra is coming and visiting, and so she'll be here for the rest of the weekend. So I probably won't get a lot of reading done tomorrow either, and, um, and that's the end of this vlog. But it is Tome Topple, and so I really would love to finish fucking um, Find You in the Dark. I guess that's not true. I did read a little bit of Find You in the Dark yesterday, but I didn't get the time to finish it because I was working. So I really want to finish Find You in the Dark because it's so good and I keep getting interrupted by work. So I want to finish that and then I need to read El Defo. It's my Sassy Book Club pick for June. I need to finish that and then we have a live show on Friday, Friday, July 6th. So you can join us for that if you would like. And yeah, those are the two books that I really want to finish before the end of this month, which is tomorrow. So, we shall see what's going to happen. But I'm going to turn this off and listen to Game of Thrones, A Dance with Dragons, for now. Okay, I'm gonna lay down during this last clip here because 
It's been a long day. I don't know if you can hear Matt in the background, but he's in the other room gaming. Um, it's actually Monday. I didn't film all weekend because Sierra came and visited, and I didn't read anything. We just sat and watched a lot of Desperate Housewives because she's watching it for the first time, which was really great. I also went and hung out with my friend Bailey on Friday a little bit, and or on Saturday a little bit, and um, got to hang out with her and her daughter, and we watched season two, episode one of 13 Reasons Why, and now I need to rewatch it, rewatch season one, because we were so confused the entire time. Um, but I know it's Monday, but I'm going to update everything anyway, because I finished Find You in the Dark today. Amazing. I gave it a four out of five stars, because there were some things that I think could have been a little bit more twisty but overall I thought it was really great it definitely has a morally gray main character which I absolutely loved and then I also read um El Defo today by CC Bell which is a children's graphic novel this is the sassy book club book of the month for June and I read it on July 2nd because I'm a failure and our live show for this is July 6th what day of the week is that it's Friday yeah, Friday, July 6th at 7 p.m. PST. So, is it really that late? Yeah, it's at 7 p.m. PST. So, that's going to be there. And I think that this video is going to go up after that. So, I'll link it in the cards below. Um, yeah, so I finished this. It was super cute. Gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Holy crap, it was so adorable. Which means that if I include those two books in June, which I'm going to do because it's July 2nd, so we're just going to pretend that I finished them in June. I finished all of my TBR for June with the exception of one Net Galley book, and the only reason I didn't actually read that is because I needed to read its first book because it turned out to be a sequel that I didn't know that I was signing up for. And so I'm going to read Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova coming up here soon, and then I'll be able to get to Bruja Born, which is the book that I got from Net Galley. And... Yeah, so I'm going to pick that up from Hoopla. I think Hoopla has it. If Hoopla doesn't, then I think my library has it. So I'm going to pick that up next. Actually, I might read The Upside of Unrequited because I have that from the library and it's just going to be a cute little adorable book that's not on my TBR, which is probably a bad plan because my TBR for July is huge. But I need to film everything tomorrow, basically. I need to film my haul. I need to film my wrap-up in TBR. I need to film my TBR for the biannual bibliothon because that's coming up. So hopefully with the bibliothon happening, I'll be able to read a lot this month because I have a huge TBR. Love, eat. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of these. I'll definitely be doing another reading vlog for the Bibliothon, but I don't think I'm going to do one for this week. So yeah, I'll, I'll just be doing the Bibliothon one and let me know if you want like weekly ones. Do you want just like one week out of every month? Like how often do you want these things? Because... I like doing them. They're fun, but are they entertaining to you? I don't know. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. You can always hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video, which are on Wednesdays and Saturdays and then sometimes Sundays. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I could.